actually i got i got a reference mm-hmm. i got a reference from one of the friend and he mm-hmm. just Which he was just uh, vikram and he was just watching the content your content and so we okay. suggested maybe you can just uh, take as a participant or you can just uh, do a collaboration type of video so i thought that it would be a great and as well of as course. i would be helping many to reach my message to other people mm. of course yes why not yes. so do this uh, once our session is over and everything send me uh, your youtube handle name as well so that when i post it i'll tag you in that yes yes right. okay all right perfect okay so shall we get started yes yes all right good morning huzafa thank you yes. so much for reaching out and booking this call i'm really happy and glad to meet you how are you doing today yeah good morning i am doing great wonderful and uh, since i don't know anything about you why don't you start by giving a quick introduction and then i can also introduce myself yeah actually i have a positive academy channel and i started in the year 2019 with the intention to help people uh, someone who is just like lacking hope motivation and want to just learn a lot of things about life related to four pillars which is health wealth love and happiness so i started mm-hmm. this with this intention and when you start anything it is so much important to know your why and once your why is clear then everything will align so i believe in that and that's the reason i just started this journey absolutely i 100% agree with you you know in all my sessions i keep telling my students that you know no matter what you are doing in life you need to know your why because if your yes. why is not clear you will not have that motivation to work towards it and you will not even be able to cherish the results that you are driving out of it so knowing the yes. why is absolutely important and thank you so much for stressing on that yeah and i can see that the progress is very much slow but i am not bothered about progress i am bothered how i can reach more people and how i can heal people how i can help people how i can mm-hmm. provide service to the people right money will be the outcome right and i'm not Correct. bothered about any kind of money right now i'm just bothered about my great content and the way i can make difference in the society and in the world absolutely that's a very very noble thought and mm. you know i would definitely want to congratulate you on yeah, uh, you, you know walking on this path and thinking mm. about how to make a difference in the society that's definitely very important okay so where are you from i don't even know that yeah i am from baroda gujarat Mm, and Baroda I, Gujarat okay yeah actually i just uh, had a thought like um, i have a, some kind of vision right it's kind of uh, universe just telling me that you need to do something and you need to mm-hmm. make the difference you have that thing and so mm. i thought that why i need to why how can i just serve the people so right. that's where my journey just begin wonderful that is great very nice Okay so uh, let me also tell you a little bit about me because we are yes, meeting for the first yeah, time yeah. so you know my name already it's mopriya and yes. i am a communication coach and a soft skills trainer from uh, pune i was born and raised in kolkata but i have been in pune for the last 10 years so i am also a certified life coach so that's why i can align with whatever you are saying and you know the vision that you have i can definitely align with that um i did my graduation in hospitality management and after that i have worked in the corporate sector for about 11 years and from january of this year i have started working as an individual coach and also building my youtube channel with the same thought and hope of uh, reaching as many people as possible and trying to bring in a little difference in some way or the other in people's life and uh, whenever i get some free time i love to travel i love cooking and i spend a lot of time with my friends and family so that's, that's a little really, bit about me mm-hmm. yeah that's really amazing i mean i was also into corporate culture i worked few years mm. in tcs and there was i was in the finance sector so i'm having mm-hmm. about 8 to 10 years of experience working but thereafter right. i thereafter i just got this vision and i just think that i need to uh, provide my service and start my own thing So right. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Do you mind if I make a small correction there? Yes, yeah, sure, definitely. Okay. I'm always so ready say... to learn because we <laughs> must always be lifelong learner, right? Absolutely. It's not like just it's not like just you just complete your education and now it's over. No, 
Correct. You must learn and upgrade yourself each and every day. Absolutely. So I'm eager to know if I, I made some mistakes or I, I just need to improve. You can just tell. Me. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> that's that's definitely the approach that you should have towards life because yes. learning has no age limit, right? So that is very important for everyone to keep in mind. Okay, so you said that I was also in the corporate culture, and after that, I think that I should do something for others. It won't be think because it is already in the past. So you will say I thought. Okay. okay. So anything that has happened in the past, you can use the past tense of that word. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> perfect. All right. So yes. Tell me what what are uh, the questions if you have any for me. I mean, uh, your basically, I I can see that your channel basically concerns with English. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I, I can also see that you have done some IELTS video. Mm-hmm. So is it all about English or any any different stuff? So my mm-hmm. channel, I'm trying to make it, uh, you know, a complete 360 degree portion of English communication, soft skills, uh, you know, career guidance through bringing in experts on my channel. That's that's my goal, and I want to make it as wholesome and holistic as possible for people. not just to work on their spoken english but their overall personality uh, by working on their communication skills soft skills and the way they look at life so mm-hmm. uh, that's my you know approach towards building up this channel yeah and i mean it's so much important nowadays because people are lacking this persuasive skills they are not able to communicate And, and and i think that it has a major impact on the mental health when you when you see Absolutely. because when you do when you are not communicating you are not releasing that emotion and emotion Absolutely. is energy in motion so it needs to go away right and Absolutely. then only you can you can be free i believe that mm. so it's really great thing what you are doing and i'm i'm, I'm glad to be a, a, the part of this so <laughs> thank you so much thank yeah. you it means a lot and definitely you know this is what feels good when uh, people come across your channel they get to know your work and then they reach out to you and they want to have discussions and i'm sure you are very well aware of this because you yourself yeah. are doing this and you are in that journey already so yeah. it feels great that at least somewhere where you are putting in the effort that is being rewarded in some way or the other right yeah but i also think like there is some misconception going on like people always judge with with the, with numbers right they just look for the numbers like if this creative is small right and if he is not doing good having less subscribers then mm. people will just neglect you because let me give you one mm. example uh, i i just thought about making the content regarding osho so i approached mm. my shila anand right who is just from vadodara only mm-hmm. and so i thought that he, she would be a good thing a good guest right on my channel but somehow she didn't just respond maybe i'm i'm a small creator or maybe she is having some kind of issue but uh, i'm not having any kind of regret because because that is what universe might want right because it it all happens with the help of universe only we are Absolutely. just we are just uh, what you can say a players right but mm. main thing is universe only right so that's right. what i do believe right right and approach Absolutely. many Yeah, and there are people just who's who is coming and going, and um, they just leave without reason. But I'm not bothered because I know my purpose, and I know the universe will be always doing good with me. That is what I believe. Hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. That that makes a lot of sense. So there will be a lot of people out there who are confused about, you know, you said energy. Energy is something yes. that needs to flow. right yes. so there are a lot of people who are still not aware of the importance of energy and how it is important to make yes. sure that you are creating positive energy positive vibrations in yourself yes. to bring in positivity in your life right yes. so for those people what would be your uh, you know small tip or advice uh, to all of them and how should they start on this journey yeah first of all i would like to just let them know who are the people who are energy vampires check your surroundings check what kind of people are there in your life and mm-hmm. then preserve your energy because the most important thing is energy and time 
when you wake up in the morning you must know what is your reason why are you waking up are you having are you having full of energy full of thing what motivates you that is so much important if you are just doing that kind of 9 to 5 job which is which is just doing a repetitive work on continuous basis and it's kind of it, it is not motivating right it is not keeping mm-hmm. you going right then you must think that okay there is something i need to do about this because when you don't do then you will lose this energy you will lose the rhythm and you do, you don't even realize what what you are going through in your life mm-hmm. so it is so much important to channel your energy people don't right. understand this when you channel your energy it's all regarding the chakra alignment how you it's like a breathing technique it's like chanting ohms and all the stuff mm-hmm. and so now it will it will help you to raise your vibration the frequency and when you see entire universe is energy everything in this universe is energy and so when you align with the energy of universe has higher consciousness then you become unstoppable no one can stop you and in that way you can influence a lot of people also mm. so everything you must it's it's like people just think that okay i am meeting this person okay let's do some time pass or let's do just some fun activities but they forget that they are also utilizing their energy correct always think in terms of energy like for example i am there and the, there on this show so i am i am giving time as well as energy my effort, my energy is of going course. up Mm-hmm. so people don't think in that way people always mm-hmm. just think that i'm just spending this time and i need to be learning these or they just go for excuses but they never think in terms of energy but when you see the entire universe seven hermetic principles of universe it says that everything in in this universe is energy only without energy correct. there is nothing correct absolutely i 100% agree to that so tell me this um, you know you interact with a lot of people on a day to day basis right. right so do you think that someone's energy is also dependent on the way they are communicating and the, the way they are interacting with others that impacts energy a lot yes it do yes it does it does hmm. yes definitely i mean uh, you can i i can just give you example like for example if a person walks into a room and mm-hmm. so now if the person walks suddenly everything changes suddenly people will just be bright and and the, and the environment will become enthusiastic energetic because that person is having that kind of aura that kind of personality right. that kind of vibes mm. so it plays a huge role right in, in everything in communication whatever you say right. energy is there absolutely and similarly that same kind of example you know i would give you that there are times when somebody walks into a room and everybody is just quiet yes. like there is pin drop silence yes. and that shows that either you have a very restricting kind of an energy where people don't feel that you are approachable or yes. they are scared of you or you emit that kind of energy that you know people feel that they can't speak around you that also yes. happens like yes. there are one type of personality who lights up everything and yes. then there is another type of personality that can actually make everything you know stop and not not in a positive way it can be in a positive way that people are spell bound looking at their personality yes. but most of the time it is not that most of the time it is out of fear hesitation yes. or uh, you know apprehension that you know it can go wrong or we should not talk in front of this person yeah especially are, i have seen yes yeah, they are ahead. actually called energy vampires Mm. so they are manipulating your energy so that's the reason Correct. when you see a lot of uh, public personalities like celebrities or something they preserve their energy mm. they they neglect many things but we just think that okay this guy want publicity that's why he is doing no it's not like that you mm. you don't know right uh, when it comes to energy most people are not even aware how they are spending their precious energy in what things correct correct that is true i 100% agree with that okay so yes that was quite interesting and i'm sure mm-hmm. you know people would also like to know a little about energy and this session is going to give them that idea and yes. how they can utilize their energy in a way which can impact their life positively yeah, and how you, to 
yeah i would also mm. like to add more about energy when i speak like sure. and yeah. by the way i would like to give you one compliment like you are so much presentable and uh, it's really your influence is so much great today yeah, that's thank what you. Thank i will you so like to compliment you yeah. and thank so you. what i was yeah so what i was like ta- talking about that money is also the form of energy yes and so that's why it is called currency right mm. and but pe- we are here to manage money but people don't understand that people think that they will be rich and th- these are poor so they will treat someone differently and mm-hmm. you all, and one can really observe the things like for example if you are poor mm-hmm. you yourself will feel the low of energy you, you will not you will not be uh, like a normal person you will always feel miserable because mm-hmm. money is energy mm-hmm. and on the contrary when you see the rich people they are always influenced they are always powerful because mm. they are having this money as energy absolutely yes and also mm. there is this other thing about money you know uh, the more you try to hold it like like this the yes. more it will slip away like sand yes, yes, right? Yes, right if you want to make money you have to rotate it you have yes. to keep spending in order to yes. of course spend wisely but do not be so stingy that you know uh, you you keep losing it in some way or the other that you don't even yes. realize so that yes. is one very interesting fact about money and you know it really fascinates me a lot to think that yeah somewhere it is true yeah from from you also i would like to uh, know something like how yeah. how one can improve the communication the soft skills whatever you just uh, teaching how, what is the real secret i would like to know Well there is no secret the only secret is you have to be consistent and you have to put in the effort yeah. now there are ways to do everything right in today's world we have different ways to do everything and master every skill right but the only problem happens is people think it's too easy yeah. the concept of reels the concept of quick content yeah. the concept of instant gratification yes yes this has instilled this thought in people's mind that if i can see someone's um, suppose weight loss journey okay if i am able to see someone's weight loss journey in a reel of 30 seconds or 60 seconds then my journey is also going to be that quick yeah and it doesn't happen that way yes, right yes. what people do, fail to understand is when somebody has undergone that weight loss journey that they are summing up in 60 seconds for you they have they have actually worked for an entire year yes. working on their diet working on their workout sch- uh, schedule working on their tiny habits in life so people just see that little result that they are looking at yes. and they do not want to look at the effort that is being put into it right so what really can improve your communication what really can improve your soft skills your overall personality is when you are first of all when you are doing the research or taking some guidance from somebody who can tell you what is the right way to go about it and where is it that you are going wrong that is very important feedback and number 2 is you follow the path and you do the things that are needed you yes. put in that effort I have students who would come up to me and tell me that okay ma'am I'll take this session for uh, you know 30 minutes twice a week will my communication improve in 3 months my flat answer is I cannot tell you yes. because 30 minutes of you know a day for 2 days in a week is definitely not going to improve your communication or yes. your personality but if you come for those 2 30 minutes you listen to what I am saying you listen to my feedback and you follow the other things that i'm telling you to do the other 5 days of the week then you will then see the difference that i can tell you yeah. right yeah. so that is one very simple logic that everybody needs to understand no matter if it is english or anything else right if you want to learn something if you want to improve something about you you have to put in that time that energy that effort and then you will see the results Yes, it's it's like a process. People don't understand process, and they just bother about results, right? Correct. But uh, mostly, when you see reels, it's just direct reels. They don't show the process, Correct. what they have just gone through, right? It's it's a continuous sure. effort that right. that makes right. the difference. Absolutely, yeah. yes. And so okay. I mm-hmm. yeah, I would also like to know my feedback. Like 
uh, I have just spoken a lot of things. So, what mm-hmm. do you think uh, about my communication and how 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 can I? Uh, what is your feedback and how can I just improve? Wonderful. So, uh, <laughs> what I see is, you know, you are somebody who is confident and yeah. who is able to have conversations and create sentences. There are very tiny slip ups in grammar here and there, which is all right because you are, you know, speaking. Those issues will go away with time if you just pay a little attention, yeah. see your own videos, and look at where you are making the mistake. You yeah. are going to be self-aware, and the the small tiny issues they are going to go away. Yeah. One thing that really, you know, <laughs> really will take your communication to another level yeah. is right now how you are smiling and you are interacting with me in a conversational manner. When yeah. you are talking about your subject, even yeah. then, try and have that interaction on screen, right? Okay. You know, smile, connect with yeah. people. Right now, you are doing that, okay? Yes. But when right. you are talking about your subject. you are quite serious and you know you are uh, talking yeah, about that, it hmm. yeah that's what i am not able to do i mean yeah, i don't know why why this is happening you will be it, it is easy so see it is first it it starts in your mind okay so think to yourself that when you are wanting to talk about energy or you are wanting to talk about the impact of energy in someone's life right um, if you just have a very serious way of putting that across people are going to either be too overwhelmed with it or they are not going to be able to connect with you right so your approach change it from information giving to storytelling okay. wherein try sharing examples like you said that you know uh, rich people have this kind of an aura poor people have this kind of an aura so try and do that with everything that you are talking about change it to storytelling and then you will see it becomes easier for you and you are able to have conversation so think of it as if you are having a conversation with someone rather than just sharing information mm-hmm. and having that shift of mindset is going to help you in changing the way of you deliver right okay i will, I will definitely try to improve i mean wonderful I practice will definitely help me absolutely it will also whenever you get time you know uh, try and have this practice with yourself if you are working on it record your own video and imagine you are having this conversation with someone and then watch that yes. video that is going to help you yes okay all right yeah okay. and so, mm-hmm. uh, one more thing i would like to add like sure. we do we do communication session every day we do a mm-hmm. zoom call and we, we were just planning to have a group of people but mm-hmm. somehow it doesn't work worked out and now me and my friend only having the regular communication uh, practice mm-hmm. and this mm-hmm. we do on regular basis every 9 pm now and then now and then for about 40 mm-hmm. minutes now we are not bothered about any kind of topics there but we try mm. to express whatever we have gone through in a best possible way and that has mm. helped me a lot a lot in my communication also and Correct. my my authority my confidence a lot of things has been improved right. and i i can just see that when we don't speak for many days maybe 7 to 14 days then mm. we some kind of just get get disturbed in the flow yeah mm. get disturbed in the flow and then we will not be able to be a good communicator so, so i can right. see that the practice is so much important when it comes to Very. communication speaking regularly yes. on consistent yes. basis and maybe describing a lot of events and things that is just happening in your life in Correct. great way into a great thing describing as much as you can will have a huge impact on your communication that that would just absolutely absolutely you said it 100% right <laughs> so that is what at the end of the day consistency is everything the yeah. moment you break consistency there is a break in your pattern and you have to again reset to the first day and start from there right yes. so that's yes. why you know what what they say when it when people talk about uh, the importance of compounding in habit building right yes, yes. it doesn't matter if you are doing it for 30 minutes a day or not when it is not possible for 30 minutes do it for 5 minutes but yes. be consistent that right. is important yeah right. okay perfect so uh, i had a wonderful time connecting with you today and yeah, i really enjoyed this discussion yeah definitely it was really great time 
Okay. Yeah. And I can uh, have just few more things, maybe four to five minutes still left. And I just think that <clears throat> people need to be a lifelong learner. It is so much important. But many mm -hmm. people just forget. They just think that they just completed the graduation or maybe 10th or 12th. And now they are not learning anything. And they don't want to invest the time. But right. they will just waste the time in the short learnings like reels and all the stuff. Mm. And that's the reason there is very much short span of attention, right? That now is. we are talking about that 30 is. minutes. So we are somewhat perfect, right? It's about when you want to learn something, you need to dive deep, right? It's not like just 10 seconds or five seconds stuff, right? And so mm. that's why you can see that when you go into college or something, it is a 45 minute lecture with a continuous attention, right? right? Yes. And that's what makes your brain powerful. That's what makes your learning capacity to the maximum potential. That's what I just believe. Mm. But these reels and shorts has just made the life very much bad. I mean, very much. It's yeah, it has, it, is it has actually, you know, impacted the attention span of people so badly that even, uh, you know, people who are, you know, who used to be from that era where they had long attention spans. Now they have also reduced their attention spans yeah. to like, you know, very uh, tiny bits of 30 seconds, 60 seconds. And after that, they just zone out. What yeah. happens is people zone out. Even if you are in a class, mm -hmm. you're in a session, you zone out and you're thinking yes, of something yes. else. So you're not mm -hmm. really utilizing, you know, the information that is flowing. You're not utilizing the time or the money that you have invested. And you are just in a different world altogether. Yes. And uh, when you do this thing, right, it is it is necessary for you to experience this boring stuff. Because mm. your dopamine shift has increased so much. You want everything new th stuff. So when you will just be experience this boring stuff a lot more, right, then you will be able to know the reality. That Absolutely. it's not like a short form content that makes the difference. It's like giving your time and effort and learning with a long duration. That is right. so much important for our overall development as well as brain. Absolutely. That is very true, right? So, yeah, I think that, you know, people should think on all of these points and uh, they should try and make most of all the information that is available for them yes. and, you know, ensure that they are being a better person from what they were yesterday that is very yes. important that yes. you pay attention to your own self and try yes. and strive to be better every day that is what yes. the goal in life should be right no matter yes. which aspect it, it can be your health it can be your wealth anything, it can be yes. your knowledge anything overall personality yes. right and that's how the quality of life increases because if you are one person better every day then the next year would be 365 percent better Absolutely. And the comparison yes. is always with yourself, not with others. Not with others. Think the others. Yes. <laughs> correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I guess that, you know, people will get a lot of insights from today's session and yeah, they are going to, uh, you know, pay a lot of attention to it and utilize it in their lives as much as possible. Yeah. And uh, it was great connecting with you. I hope in future we can connect again and talk about Definitely. some other topics. Definitely. Right. Yes, and Mm, and thank you so much for reaching out once again. Uh, mm, you have I'm, a wonderful I'm grateful. day. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful to uh, to be your guest, and it's really amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day. And it's weekend coming up, so wish you a very good weekend. Take care yeah, of yourself. You. Yes, yes, same too. Thank you. Thank you. All yeah. right. Bye. Bye.